you're looking at one of the most sought after vehicles sold anywhere in the world today. It's no Ferrari or Bentley. It is the unusual looking but oh so practical Toyota Prius Hybrid, the first midsize car to combine gasoline and electric power. We've been driving this 2004 Prius for 10 months and 16,109 miles. But Toyota finally told us to stop stalling and give it back. So we did, but not before scoring an average of 44.6 miles per gallon. That's the best of any long-term vehicle in our 24 years. Speaking of stalling, our adventure was not trouble-free. The Prius's gas engine did stall out twice due to faulty electrical connections, but both times the electric motor got us off the road safely. The Prius is a strong hybrid that can run on either engine independently of the other. Designers gave this watershed car a wedgie hatchback profile and interior oddities like a center information display and dash-mounted gear shift for the CBT tranny. Still, once in D, the Prius drives quite reasonably. What Toyota has learned from the $20,000 Prius is that its price may be too reasonable, as most future hybrids will cost more. We're glad they made the Prius for the masses, however, as this modest-sized car is accelerating a giant hybrid revolution. Not ready for a hybrid, but still want a standout family car? For us, that means this 2005 Mitsubishi Galant. We barely had our Galant a month, and it already has over 3,000 miles on the clock. This is the sportiest GTS trim, complete with a 3.8-liter V6. On paper, horsepower is good, if not spectacular, at 230. But in motion, the V6 feels stronger, with an impressive 24.5 mile per gallon economy average. The Galant's head-turning exterior styling is matched with a high-style interior that can be equipped with premium features like an infinity stereo and side impact airbags. While time will tell if our impressions of the new Galant stay strong, they are off to a healthy start. We'll look in on this Ford F-150 Super Crew and this BMW X3 Sports Activity Vehicle on the next MotorWeek long-term road test update.